In this video, we're gonna talk about the difference between actually stepping, like weight transferring, taps, and also using the pressure of the floor. Yeah, so we're gonna use actually in a couple of the steps that we're gonna uh, share with you today. We are going to gradually, we're gonna move a little bit up, right? So we're gonna start with something simple just to explain the concepts. And then after that, we're gonna move with something a little more complicated for all the people out there that they have a little more experience dancing, okay? Yeah. So get ready to dance with us today. So let's start by start explaining this topic, right? So it's pretty much we can talk about these three ways of of actually marking the timing or the tempo. So we're gonna start first by doing the the, the let's talk about the taps first. Okay. So what happened when we actually tap? First, I want you to start transferring the weight on the left okay and from here we are going to do use a tap right here tap and notice my weight never transfer to the left right so once i touch the floor tap i can just come back tap okay and now i can just transfer on the back you see now just give me this tap a couple times tap and tap and tap and tap Actually, this is tap out and tap in. Tap out and tap in. Notice that the whole time our way is on the left, okay? This must be, or oh, it feels maybe a little bit basic, but way because we're going to get there and everything is going to make sense whenever we start using it on the steps that we are going to share with you, okay? So, again, so we, we have tap, 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 okay? So now we're going to move to the next one. The next one is tap and now we are going to go back and we're going to do pressure so what is the difference right on the tap of course you don't you don't we don't put the weight on it any we'll weight any, weight, any yeah. weight i would say exactly Taps. so now we're going to do pressure now notice the ball of the feet as actually is touching the floor my weight is grounded and it's enough pressure okay to let me move my left up so you weight. see so what does that mean? That I don't transfer in my weight. So if I do it on these angles, Maria is going to stay on that one. Go forward a little bit, Maria. There we go. So right here, right? If we have this part right here. Now, when we transfer the weight, it means when we put in the, start putting the weight on the heel and start touching the floor, the whole weight now transferred to the hip. So now my other leg is totally free, right? If I want to transfer again, I'm going to start putting the ball of the feet pressure and now I start transferring the weight through the hip and now I can use release and this one I can again I can use pressure right so whenever we did that the step with the tap and pressure this is what happened we do tap pressure weight, weight. okay again tap pressure weight so right now we're talking about the three things that we're talking on this video okay yes so try and if we're putting like numbers or percentages to this okay this would be like no weight at all the pressure may be 20 30 percent of weight right and then the full weight of course is the leg that's in the front right just to just to give you guys a little bit of an idea okay so the taps no weight pressure is more like 20 percent and then we have full weight with the standing leg okay? yeah so and this is quick actually it's quick quick because you don't put you put the pressure on only the on the ball of the feet, feet so of course like you it, it will be a, tra a, a little fast transfer, right? So whenever we do the basics, we actually apply on the basics. So if we're doing this, kung kung, pressure and, kung kung, pressure right. and. You see, this pressure and kicks, keep us, right, with the center in the center. <laughs> mm -hmm. With the center in the center. Yeah, so, so a lot of times it plays a big part. Um, we think it also helps... Of course, when you understand that you have a complete weight transfer or complete weight shift, you're able to tap a little bit more sharper, right? A little more precise, a little quicker. You're able to get a little quicker. And that is not just from the tap itself being quick. It's because you understand the weight transfer um, with the other leg, right? So there's no way you're going to be able to tap quick, tap and transfer if your weight is here, right? So imagine your weight in is the middle, in the middle, in the middle, distributed, both legs. and then you're trying to, t if, this, if the shine, which you're going to see in a second, if the shine calls for a tap, you're going to try and have to shift and tap at the same time. Shift and tap, rather than you already shifted, now you just work on the intention of the tap, right? So mm -hmm. the tap looks quick, precise, it has intention, because of the weight on the other side is fully transferred. Yeah, so hopefully that makes 
a little mm -hmm. more sense too if you're a little bit more advanced experienced dancer yes so now we are going to move and we're going to do it on both sides so we're going to if we start from the basic like i said we're going to do this step and then we're going to gradually move it to the next level and of course we're going to play some music so you can dance with us yeah. so start from the basic six seven mm -hmm. kung kung mm -hmm. Two, Pressure, three, weight, kung weight. kung, six, Pressure, seven. Weight. Now notice the weight is going to be on the left. Uh, we, uh, we turn it like 45 degrees and we're going to do tap, tap pressure, weight. weight. By the way, this time when we put the weight, our heel, it's free, right? So it's going to be the one on the front where you have the weight. It's going to be a little bit free, the heel, but the weight is there. And we're going to do a little twist right here. And, and cross and cross, here. okay? Now from here, we're going to do one more time this. Tap, tap pressure, pressure weight, weight and su si si keep going and tap, tap pressure, pressure and and the susie the su pressure si pressure cue yes ba ba bam let's slow down pressure ba, pressure bam. transfer at the end. now transfer when we t talk about transfer please feel the transfer of the weight moving to your hip so that way you can actually move this leg up and you are in total control because you are the whole weight on that leg okay Let's Plus do it the again. knees are bent, right? And like Joel said, we're giving freedom to the heels, even though the weight is transferred. We still have freedom to the heel on the weight that's transferred because the body is always a little bit forward, right? The body is always pitching forward because you want the weight on the front part of the foot. So it doesn't mean the weight transferred. This is really important too. It doesn't mean the weight transferred is here. You said yeah, it's a not dead a dead weight. weight. So this is dead weight. This is a transfer, but my knees are bent. I'm always pitching forward. So that leaves the weight on the front part of the foot. Yeah. yeah. That's important too, okay? Yeah. Again, to get... Especially quick. in this kind of steps, because now if you notice, we're twisting a little bit when we're doing the Susie Q and we turn to the other way. Here. You see how she was transferring the weight? Yeah, there's bam, no bam, way that bam. you can twist if your weight is here. Now it's like, ugh. Yeah. Basic. Kung kung. kung, kung. Two, three, ba, and kum, kum, six, ba, seven, ba, and tap, tap pressure, ba, weight, ba, and su, si, q, weight. Tap, pressure, ba, weight, bam, 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 and bam, bam, bam. Now, I'm going to do right now what we're doing is just, just tap in front, and, but for all people that they already have more experience, I will start twisting my hips. I will go up a little bit so you can see my <laughs> super six pack right here. So, <laughs> oh, so you can see your hips. <laughs> my <laughs> hips. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna kind of kind of open my hip like open and open and open and. You see, when I do the pressure here, my hip automatically start moving back, right? Because this pressure. So even if it's quick, it's quick, but my hip do this movement right here. So in this case, I will not look like this only. Tap, tap, su, c, q, tap, flat, flat. tap, su, c, q, right? So even if as a, as a, as a g guy, right, as a man, I like to twist my hips a little bit so my, my body looks like it's moving and it's dancing and it's with flavor, right? So I do this, ah, right here, ah, and, ah, and, I'm sorry, Ah, tum, ah, bam, bam, ah, bam, bam, ah, bam, bam, ah, and twist, and su, c, q, ah, same thing, keep going, ah, 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 su, c, q, and keep going, now one and tap, one, and su, c, q, pa, and su, c, q, twist, and bam, 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 twist, and Bam, 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 Shoot. twist, and bam, 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 Shoot. twist, all and all the way to the toe. Basic, and kung kung, two, three, again, six, seven, bam, su, si, q, bam, pressure, and don't su, forget si, the cue. transfer, bam, pressure, and su, si, q, bam, su, si, basic, Q. and two, three, Six and seven. Okay, so that's a quick tip on this step. Okay, now we're gonna move on. We're gonna put the pressure a little bit on the people that a little bit they have a little more experience. So now we're gonna do a quick combination using the same tools that we're explaining right now, or the tips that we want to cover in this video. So we're gonna start with a tap, right? So we're gonna be tap, tap 
step Pressure, and weight. now we're going to do a hook step by the way this is things that we cover inside of our, our regular school and also in our online school we call it hook step we use a uh, pressure uh, it's important that we mention this because we create the actually i'm sorry we are using weight okay as we turning so it means we can uh, step in here bam okay tap and bam step now we're gonna do a hook step hook which is pressure and Bram. Okay, in order to do that turn right there that I did here is left. When I transfer the weight, the weight to my right, I start stepping on the right. You see my weight's on the right. I was turning, so I need to free my heel, right? In order to do that turn. So but my weight is there. Obviously, otherwise I cannot use uh, it's not like turning here on both uh on both legs. That was not what I was doing, right? I was doing right, left, right, right, left, right, Susie Q. So you can finish right away into the Susie Q, okay? Just a quick tip right there. So let's move on. Let's try it again. Six, basic first. Kung Kung, go. Tap. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, Su C Q slide. That's another way how we transfer the weight, and you can see the emphasis that we put on the hips. So that makes the illusion of the slide, and then pressure again. Pressure N. Okay. So let's do that one more time from the top. Six, seven, gung gung, ready, go. N. Six tap. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Su C Q slide. Pressure in. One tap. Tap. Pressure in. Now one more hook. Over the uh, we're gonna start turning to the right. And bam bam bam. And one, two, three, basic, six, seven, basic. Two, three, kung kung, six, seven, basic. Ready, go. And tap. Six, seven, one. Two, three, five, hook and su C slide, boom, tap and tap, hook, step, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, again, six, seven, tap, tap pressure step, and push Bram. and transfer, hook uh, uh, and transfer, su C transfer away. Transfer to the right. Uh -huh. Actually, did you see that was transfer to transfer, right? So we finish the su c q is transfer, so that leg can push to the right. Shoo. Boom. Step Pressure in. Now One I tap. Use the bending of the leg. Remember what we were talking about. The bending of the knee, I should say, and that the weight is forward on the ball of the foot. Even though the weight is transferred, I'm still forward so that I'm able to shift. Yeah, because again, if you have dead weight, it's going to be hard to transfer with some power, right? It'll be hard to transfer with some power. So this might be going into another tip, <laughs> but I'm actually using the balls of the feet to do the push the left to the full transfer. Yeah. yeah? Cool. So we're going to do one tap first, and then we're going to do to that. Okay, so it's tap, ah. step, ah. and ah. now press, pressure and push. Boom. Bam. And transfer. And one, two, three, basic, six, seven. One more time. Ready, go. From the top, six, seven. Tap, bam, step, bam, step, bam, step, hook. Transfer. Six, hook seven, and su, C, Q, Y. Push. Six, pressure seven, step. and pressure. Bam, bam, ah, bam, bam. One, two, three, again. Six, this is just seven. A tap. Tap. Transfer, Bram. hook, and su, C, Q, slide, Stop. six, Another seven, tap. and tap. tap. Pressure, Pressure, transfer, in. transfer, five. hook, Bram. around. Bam. One, two, two three, three, five, five six, six, and, and seven. seven. Okay, let's try both. Let's try both. Just we're gonna start with the with the first one and then with the second one. <laughs> <laughs> Another good way to uh, simply work on your pressure and your transfer are the basic steps, right? Which we were saying in the beginning. Especially so with the, let's do the side step, so actually you yeah, can see it from where you are right now. So from the basic side step and 
Kung Kung Wait. Okay, wait. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going straight into the side okay. step. So wait, and now this is you can see clearly the the the, the pressure right here. Pressure, pressure come transfer. back. Okay. Pressure okay. Transfer. Now the movement that you create comes from the pressure that you have here because now you can actually, with the help of your knees, you can actually make more body movement, etc. Okay. Even if you are the guy, I mean, of course you don't want to look like just like that, right? You want to epa, feel and look and, and use the floor to the floor. move the body, okay? Pressure push. Yeah. Continue. Pressure, pressure push. and gung gung. So you're grabbing pressure the floor with the pressure, gung gung. which we talked pressure about, and was maybe 20% weight. Pressure and gung gung. 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 and weight. Pressure and weight. Pressure, ba, ba. wait, Same wait, thing with the forward and back. pressure, forward, wait, transfer. boom, pressure bam, bam, okay? Right now, by the way, we're just talking about the pressure, the weight, and the taps. So we are not even talking about how we transfer the weight and everything else. That will be another video. <laughs> so right now, we concentrate only on this, just to understand Hip the difference between all that good stuff. taps, uh, full weights, and pressure, okay? So now let's do it from the very top. We're going to do the basic into the step, the first step, and then we are going to move on into the second part, okay? First part first, <laughs> first part first, five, B, C, kung kung, pam, pam, you just, just the first one, and tap, su, tap, tap, and, and, su, C, Q, Q tap, pam, pam, su, second, and, one, two, three, five, six, seven, Su C Q slide six seven tap two three five six seven one two three basic six seven from the top the first one the first part combo number go one and the tap, tap and Susie Su C Q tap and Su C now tap and hook two three five six seven Su C Q slide Six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, and two, three, kung kung, basic, a little faster, two, three, six, seven, kung kung, ready, go, and six, seven, and one, two, three, su, si, q, one, two, three, five, six, seven, and one, two, and five, six, seven, and su, si, q, boom, six, seven, and tap, two, three, five, six, seven, and two, three, six, and seven. Okay, so we combine kind of two levels on this class. Okay, we combine something between begin advanced beginner into into almost intermediate advanced level. Beginner. Okay, <laughs> so um, yeah. So if you you see how at the end, right, we got a little bit faster, right? But of course, when you're watching this tip or when you're watching this video over and over and repeating it over and over. Try to do it slowly like we were doing in, in the beginning, okay? Because that's going to get the muscle memory. You're going to get used to, the, the body's going to be able to use to the difference between the taps, the pressure, and the weight. Because if you just go into the fast part, you're more than likely to just kind of like... Rushing it. Yeah, and skate by all the elements that we were saying goes behind the pressure and the weight shift, okay? So do it really slow, get it into the body, and then when you do it faster... Now the body is going to start to remember the technique. Yes, cool. it will be very, very easy to jump into and start doing what we always do, right? Because we create habits. It can mm -hmm. be good habits or bad habits. So if we don't do it like that, maybe we just have to start practicing to doing it the, the way that we recommend. Yeah, so don't That's try to just mimic actually try to go a little bit deeper. Yeah, a little bit deeper. Yeah, so we're going to play some music for you guys so you can follow us here. And let's start it right here. Pram pam basic and two three kung kung six seven kung kung pam pam basic and pram pam and go. First one two three pam pam ah ah ah. One more pram pam pam su si q. Now give me the basic here after this. Basic, just to practice the first one, okay? Forget, forget, I mean, remember, <laughs> remember the, the tap, remember the feeling, remember the pressure on the floor, remember all this hip twist a little bit if you want to look a little bit different too, okay? Basic, go, and, 
Bam, bam. First one. Bam, bam. Now second. Tap and hook. Bam, bam. Epa. Wow. Bam, bam, bam. Basic, bam, udum, bam, bam, and go, and tap, give me the first one, and su, si, q, tap, and, second, hook, and su, si, q, slide, six, seven, tap, two, and hook, and two, three, basic, and go, first one, tap, and, bam, 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 su, si, en, tap, hook, step, six, seven, en, su, si, q, wa, bam, 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 two, three, we're gonna do it one more time and we're gonna speed it up a little bit, okay, and go, six, seven, en, tap, en, whoops, I almost did the second one, <laughs> now second one, go, tap, en, bam, bam, su, si, q, wa, Bam, bam. Basic. Last time for sure. <laughs> and go. First one and tap in. Shoot C Q. Bam, bam, bam. Shoot C Q. Wow. Tap in. Give me the side steps so you use practice. Kung kung, pressure and kung kung, pressure and pressure and. Notice when we do pressure and we come back to the center quick. Quick, quick and quick, quick and. And I don't know if you can actually feel it, but try to feel the pressure on the floor and use the caps, right? You're using this part of the leg to pressure on the floor. Bam, bam, and pressure and pressure and. Pressure in, so we don't put the heel down, right? We put the heel down, it's gonna look like this. Okay, it's pressure in. That pressure allows you to continue moving your body, to continue moving your hips. Basic. No, 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 it's not what we're saying. <laughs> bit more exaggerated just again so the body gets it in the system yeah and then little by little you make it a little more subtle right a little more catered to the music that's playing right? and to your body too and to your body right? type how much pressure you want to put on it uh, I'm, I'm personally for example I'm, I'm not the type of person that with a lot of body movement first of all I'm not that flexible and I'm just, I'm just, it's not my style, right? I move a little bit the hips and here and there, but uh, it's preference, right? But the importance of the fundamental of the principle that we try to share here, that is, I mean, you can just apply it and then just adjust it to you. Yes. Okay, apply so. Apply the fundamental, I like that. Apply the fundamental technique and then you're going to choose your style when you are already really, uh, you know, understanding the foundation of it. Cool? Yes. Let's so just put one okay. more song. Okay, one more song. Let's do one more song really quick and then... One, three, B, C. Pa, pa, kudum, pa, and kum. Pa, pa, kudum, pa, pa, kum. Pa, pa, kudum, pa, 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 kudum, pa, pa, in. Pa, pa, in. Go. Wepa, en, pa, pa, pam, 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 second part, en, pam, 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 ah, hook, en, tum, 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 slide, pam, pam, pressure, en, pam, pam, en, two, three, six, seven, en, go, en, five, six, go, tap, en, su, si, q, tap, en, su, si, en, pam, 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 en, hook, su, si, en, pam, pam, tap, en, Bam, bam, wipe up. El, el, ole, el, el, Two more ola. times, ready. Go. Que te va a gustar. Tap in. Su, si, q. Tap in. Su, si, q. Tap in. Hook. Bam, bam. Su, si, q. Wipe up. Ah, ah, ah. 
te clave, el eco par project tiene la llave. Last time, imitación a su mundo, prepárate, me duro, que baila y goza mi guagua, el somo tú no lo traigo yo. Pram, pam, pam, epa, pum, 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 pram, pam, 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 pam. Good, good, good. So, the best part of the song. I know, I know, it was coming. But uh, just we want to do these tips short and sweet, and hopefully that we can transfer what we want to explain in these videos. Okay, this is the way that we like to dance, the way that we like to teach, just because we like to share steps and things and principles that apply for the social dancer, right? The main reason why we're doing this is because we like to teach people that actually wants to social dance and wants to use, listen to the music, connect to the music and express it through the body, okay? Yeah. So. Actually, I think these techniques apply for all Yeah, definitely for aspects, everything. Right? You can be performing or social dancing because they are concepts, right? And they are techniques that you can utilize in your dancing. And like I said, this is the fundamental technique. But when you get to a certain level, of course, you can add styling, you can add more body movement, but this again is just the fundamental of it, just about the weight transferring, the stepping and the tapping, which I think goes for all, right? Yes. All types of dancers. Yeah? Fundamental wise applies for everything and you can use it as what you want to use. Okay, so uh, pretty much this is the concept of today, guys. So thanks so much for being here and we will see you on the next one.